coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited. EASA's rewritten CS23 called Revolutionary. Unique Breeze as social media video streaming. Air Force may consider stop loss for pilot retention. Hello, I'm Laura Hudson. It's April 13th and this is Airborne Unlimited. EASA Certification Director Trevor Woods presented EASA's rewritten CS23 certification rules for small aircraft last week, noting that the EASA's CS23 are new, smart, and flexible rules prepared with and for a safe, innovative general aviation industry. The reorganized CS23 removes design limitations for manufacturers and thus opens the way to innovation. Also, general aviation industry representatives emphasize its great potential. These new rules will allow us to bring new aeroplane models with features using increased automation to market. We anticipate that these new features will not only help increase the user experience, but will help improve safety, stated Piper President and Gamma Chairman Simon Caldicott. The introduction of the new CS23 paves the way for a new era in general aviation. The new CS23 establishes objective and design-independent requirements. New designs will not be hampered by detailed prescripted rules. This enables innovative solutions to enhance safety, while at the same time red tape, time, and certification costs are reduced. EASA has participated in an international effort in cooperation with the FAA to reorganize the CS23 Part 23 in order to revive certified general aviation believing that a harmonized reorganization of both related EU and U.S. rules is vital for global success. One of our favorite drones from CES 2017, the Unique Breeze, will now allow users to stream live video to YouTube, Facebook, and other popular social media platforms through the Unique app. The company explains that with Breeze 4K, you can live stream to Facebook, YouTube, or your preferred output using real-time messaging protocol, making the product even more convenient than before. Whether you're interacting real-time with your followers, sharing the game-winning play, or connecting with your family abroad, Breeze lets you tell your story your way live with those you care about most. Share your experiences with your social audience as they happen. New features on the BreezeCam app available on iOS and Android include stream in 720p HD, instant interaction with audience, Facebook, YouTube, real-time messaging protocol compatible, video recording via Breeze drone, audio recording via mobile device, and ability to name live stream recording. The Breeze was introduced by Unique last year. The aircraft with live streaming capabilities is currently on the market for $449. But recent leaks from DJI, as noted by a recent story on the rumored DJI Spark, indicate that it is also planning a lower cost drone, meaning Unique may have a battle on its hand in the consumer space. After the break, the Air Force is having pilot retention problems. Progressive Aerodyne C-Ray Elite offers turbocharged Rotax Power and Garmin G3X Touch Avionics. Incredibly well equipped, you can fly away in this best in category Amphib for less than $160,000. Visit SeaRay.com for more details. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Sandia introduces the new SAI 340 Quattro TSO'd airspeed, attitude, altitude, and slip. With integral backup battery, safety never looked so good. See it now at www.sandia.aero. Welcome back. If you would like to be a supporter of Airborne Unlimited, send an email to jim at aero-news.net. A senior Air Force official says that it is possible that some pilots may not be allowed to lead the service when they have fulfilled their commitment. General Carlton Everhart, Chief of the Air Mobility Command, said that he and other senior generals will meet with Air Force Chief of Staff 
General David Goldfein, representatives of the other armed services, and airline executives next month to discuss the exodus of Air Force pilots to civilian air jobs. Everhart said that he has already told airline executives that stop loss in which pilots would be required to remain in the service beyond their commitment is a possibility. The meeting will discuss ways to solve the problem that is mutually agreeable to both the military and civilian sectors. But the defection of Air Force pilots, and particularly fighter pilots, is starting to erode the Air Force's ability to fight ISIS, noted Everhart. The Air Force has already significantly increased retention bonuses in an effort to entice pilots to stay. And while the pilot shortage shows up in every branch of the military, the Air Force, Air National Guard, and Air Force Reserve need some 1,550 pilots to bring them up to the required number of 20,300 pilots. It's Thursday, which means that it's time for an Aero Community Update, highlighting news and information about the incredible people and organizations that populate the Airborne Partnership Initiative behind Airborne Unlimited. We're less than a month away from the ultimate event dedicated to all things unmanned, AUVSI's Exponential 2017. ANN will be there to produce an Exponential Innovation Preview a few days before the event, as well as at least two days of live programming from the floor of the trade show. We'll have lots more to say about it, but before we do, we'll let AUVSI boss Brian Wynn tell you himself. Hi, I'm Brian Wynn, President and CEO of AUVSI inviting you to witness the evolution of unmanned technologies at AUVSI's Exponential 2017 on May 8th through the 11th in Dallas, Texas. Exponential is the premier trade event dedicated to drones and robotics. See more than 650 manufacturers and solution providers in the largest exhibit hall this industry has to offer. Join us for more than 200 hours of sessions on key topics and issues such as commercial unmanned applications, public policy and legislation, beyond visual line of sight operations, counter UAS systems, data management, women and diversity in robotics, and much, much more. After these messages, AUVSI's Exponential Convention is packed with information. Redbird is quickly becoming the industry standard for flight training. Since Redbird introduced its revolutionary FMX in 2007, colleges, universities, and flight training operations around the world have integrated Redbird products into their curriculum. It's time to discover what Redbird can do for you. Join the migration. Based on the popular Sling 2 LSA, the Sling 4 was designed to be the most practical and desirable lightweight four-place experimental aircraft on the market. Find out more about this 115 horsepower turbocharged airplane at airplanefactory.com. Welcome back. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we're summarizing some other interesting stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. AUVSI has announced the keynote lineup for Exponential 2017, which will take place at the K. Bailey Hutchinson Convention Center in Dallas from May 8th to 11th, 2017. The keynote program will be hosted by the Weather Channel's Jim Cantor and will feature Intel CEO Brian Kurzenich, FAA Administrator Michael Huerta, Virginia Governor Terry McAuliffe, and executives from Airbus Defense and Space, GE Oil and Gas, and Northrop Grumman, and AUVSI's President and CEO Brian Wynn will open the program on May 9th at 0830 Central Daylight Time. As previously noted, EASA has announced the culmination of a years-long effort to rewrite European certification specifications for many types of smaller aeroplanes. And as a result, consensus-based standards developed by organizations such as ASTM International will play a stronger role in determining compliance and airworthiness. The new rules will be effective August 15th. A relatively large near-Earth asteroid discovered nearly three years ago will fly safely past Earth on April 19th at a distance of about 1.1 million miles, or about 4.6 times the distance from Earth to the Moon. Although there is no possibility for the asteroid to collide with our planet, this will be a very close approach for an asteroid of the size. 
The FAA has awarded an STC for the installation kit for the non-TSO'd Trio Pro Pilot Digital Autopilot, allowing installation into dozens of models of Cessna's 172s and 182s, with more models to follow soon. The full-featured autopilot promises to bring significant set of features to the legacy fleet cost-effectively. Airbus's A350-1000 MSN-065 test aircraft has completed a series of noise tests in Moran, south of Spain, between March 27th and April 5th as a part of its type certification flight test campaign, paving the way for entry into service on schedule before year-end. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Now let's move on to the rest of the news. The U.S. Navy has been dealing with a grounding order for its entire fleet of 197 T-45 Goshawk training aircraft due to issues apparently caused in part by issues with the oxygen system aboard the aircraft. The grounding follows a rise in physiological episodes experienced by instructor pilots and trainees while flying the airplanes. The Navy had initially issued a pause in operations that was set to expire Monday. But Navy spokesman Lt. Leslie Hubble recently told Fox News that the pause had been extended as long as our experts need, as they diligently work to determine the root cause of the physiological episodes and solutions to fix this issue. In recent testimony on Capitol Hill, senior naval aviators said that such episodes involving the T-45 have nearly quadrupled over the past five years. The T-45 Goshawk is the primary trainer for the U.S. Navy. Trainees eventually go on to fly F-A-18 Hornets, E-A-6B Prowlers, and E-2 Hawkeye airplanes. Well, that's our program for today. Remember that Airborne Unlimited is streamed daily Monday through Friday with additional breaking news bulletins for important stories that fall outside of our normal deadlines. If you're watching us on YouTube, please subscribe and do check us out on Facebook and Twitter. Get comprehensive, real-time, 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. See you tomorrow.